Hello guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. And I've got a new game. Someone on one of my videos said, Ooh, why don't you try this game? Factorio. It's a really interesting game. I tried out the demo and I loved it. I was like, okay, this is a really cool game. So I actually bought the game. Uh, so I thought I'd do a few videos on it. Um, okay, I'm going to do new game. And I'm going to just leave everything standard and generate here we go so basically the idea is you've landed on this this planet and well I'll actually read it out this is the Factorio free play your task is to prepare the planet for colonizing forces from the earth landing ships would be an easy target for attacks from the native bases however they can be protected by rocket defense you will need to research advanced technologies in order to unlock the rocket defense. Start small, work your way up with aut automation and don't forget to protect from the natives. So I don't really know that much about this game, basically I know the basics and then I'm hoping that you guys are going to advise me at the end of each video as to things that I could be doing to improve because there's not really a, a tutorial in this game you can have a look online for tutorials but I don't really know the the finer details I know o only the basics so yeah anyway let's see how we do so there's all these tips which I've read quite a few of those but it still doesn't really prepare you now you're basically this man here and You see how I can zoom all the way out and I'm going to try and find a good place to start. So this is iron ore, iron ore, stone, copper. So, you, so basically I'm searching around here to find a good place to start. Oh, this is actually a really good place for me to start actually. You see how there's it's coal right over here. So that was kind of lucky wasn't it stone okay so let's zoom back in again now I believe what I need to do is I need to make myself a pick otherwise it will be very hard for me so I believe under this one I can left click and it will make me a pick because when you start the game I believe it gives you five iron plates yeah so now I can because I have a a pick I can then start mining this a lot faster than if I didn't so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mine this a fair bit get a reasonable a reasonable amount of coal then I'm gonna move across and do iron ore because I find that I find that the plates are quite important you know, to get started with the iron plates, I mean. Okay, so then, I think that should be enough for now. Let's zoom out again, and let's go. Can I go through the water? No, that's probably wise. Um, ooh, then I'm going to go over here to the iron ore. There was iron ore here look and actually here so this is a good spot it's getting a bit dark look so the character has a light okay so now I'm gonna use the rest of this pick you see how the pickaxe is about halfway health so I'm gonna finish this one off by mining iron ore so I'm just trying to set up my basic situation here and yeah like I've after I tried this game I was like yeah this is a really cool game and it is kind of a simulation game because it basically forces you to build everything up in a fairly realistic way it's kind of a bit like a sandbox game I suppose okay so that's now broken so what I'm gonna do now is I have in my inventory it gives me one stone furnace so I'm gonna place that here then if you is it right click oh it 
it's a mining drill. Oh dear. Wrong thing. Whoopsie. Uh, so is, is it going to let me bring it up again? Can I? No, because it's not near anything. It, it, it's not near anything it can mine. Is there a way for me to actually take it down? Yeah, I think that's taking it down, is it? Oh, there you go. Okay, that was actually quite easy. So this time, let's press the right thing. There you go, a stone furnace. Okay, so what I need to do now is if I right click on that stone furnace, I got all the coal. I'm going to put that as the fuel at the bottom. And then this iron ore on the top. So that's going to just make loads of iron plates. That is exactly what I need. Now, now what I'm going to do in the meantime is I think I'm going to try to get a couple of trees to make a box. Let me just see about this. Okay, let's move these down. All right, let's just wait for this to finish, actually, or at least wait for a few more of these. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of this now. So if I go into this note, this view, let me see. I'm going to make myself another one of those then I'm going to go off get some wood together find some trees I'm not sure if there's another tool that I need for trees but There's not, I don't see a lot of trees around. Oh, actually, there were trees down here that I seem to remember. There were trees, yeah, there's trees down this way, look. Okay, so let's zoom back in, harvest some of these trees. We don't need that many, to be honest. Because I need to make some wooden boxes. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to so I craft the wooden box. Mm -hmm. This one, iron chest wooden box. I'm going to go for a wooden box. There you go. So the reason I need a wooden box is now. I keep pressing escape to get out of that menu. I can't think I can't find a way of getting out of out of the menu. Okay, um so we've got quite a lot of this, that's good. I'll put that down there now. What I'm gonna do actually I did it again, wow. Terrible. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna put see I have this mining thing? I'm gonna set this up on the iron ore. So, oops, there you go, yeah. Okay, so now it's saying, look, that I need to put fuel in this. This is basically a mining drill thing, but what I'm going to do is, the box that I just made, I'm going to place that here so that this is where all the stuff is extracted. So whenever that stuff is extracted, extracted it should go straight into this now it should go straight into the box um, so what do I need to do so have, I think I've got some coal left in here haven't I yes so let's take half of that coal out oh, I did it again it's just an automatic thing I can't find a way of getting out of the menus I hope it's kind of annoying me um, right so right click on the machine put the coal in now this thing should start mining like so 
I nearly pressed escape again. So there you go, you can see it's now mining. Look, that's cool. And it should be, if I right click on the chest, yeah, see? The stuff is automatically going in the chest. Now I need to, I did it again. Ugh. I need to do a, the same thing, but with the coal. Where's the coal? The coal is all the way over here. So I need to have a look at my recipes to see how hard or easy it is for me to make another one of those mining drill things. Here it is. So I need three iron plates. Oh, so I need a stone furnace. Okay, so how easy is it to make a stone furnace? I just need five stone. I have a pickaxe. I did it again. Oh, come on. Learning. I'm not learning this at all. Okay, the stone is right here. That's iron ore, actually. It's the stone here. Okay, awesome. So let's go mine a bit of stone. So as you can see, this game has got some kind of Minecraft elements, but it's also almost like a business kind of thing where you're trying to make factories to process stuff. I don't know, the idea of the game really interests me, and I'm really happy that one of my viewers pointed me to this game, because I'd literally never heard of it. It was successfully funded by Indiegogo. Um, and like I said... I'd never heard of it, so it's, I mean, there's so many awesome games out there, it's crazy, that you've never heard of. Alright, I think I need about 10, I'd say, I don't know, maybe 15, let's see. Okay, I think we're good with that. Come down a bit again, where's my stuff? Over here, it's getting dark again. Um, right, so let's go back to here. Now, I should be able to craft one, two, let's craft three stone furnaces. Uh, and I need three iron plates. I've got the iron plates. I need three iron gear wheels. Aha. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Okay. What I might do actually is make one of these first, like that. Right, what do I need to make another one? One more gear wheel. Oh, and I need, oh, and then of course I need more iron plates. Okay, so. That's fine. This, this guy is still working away, look. Awesome. Giving me all this iron ore. Which is awesome. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to put there. I'm going to put just on my character. Like so. Because I... Oh, I did it again. <laughs> it's just so ingrained in me to do that. To escape to get our menus. Okay, so... What I'm going to do now is... Make burn up some more of this iron ore to get because I'm, I'm basically trying to get enough of these minor things onto each um, of the major resources in my area if you know what I mean that's what I'm trying to do okay so let's not that one this one so I should now be able to make another of these so I've got two of these now two of these mining things two more I should say um, have I got enough wooden wood even? I think I have for me to make two more wooden chests. One, two. Awesome. Okay, so let's get all this. Now, I'm, what I should be able to do now is I should be able I've got one. Oh, he needs more fuel. So I need to go put this on the coal. I need to. Where's the coal? It was over this way, wasn't it? I need to go put a miner on the coal. I mean, it's quite awkward, actually, that it's a little bit out of the way. But in the future, hopefully, I'll work out how to make conveyor belts and stuff like that to move it where I want it. Um, right, so what I should do now is I should um, drop one of these. How do I rotate it? Anyway, that's weird. Can I rotate it? I'm sure you can. I can't see 
Oh, that's what it was. I just remembered. I remapped it to middle mouse button. Okay, so let's put it here. There we go. I don't want to accidentally place the other one, do I? So let's put that back. And what I'm going to do is, because I know it needs some fuel to get it started, I'm going to mine myself first to get it started, like so. Then I'm going to open this up, put, put the, the coal inside, and then hopefully this will start doing its stuff. And I, then I need to make the... Um, oh, I already made a chest. But I, oopsies, oh no. Is it even working? Okay, let's put that. How do I know if that's in the right place? I think, I think it is in the right place, let me look. It, oh, is that the correct fuel? Oh, hang on, you know what I think it is? I think I've placed it in the wrong place, actually. I think I may have placed it not... I think you need to place it actually on the stuff. Okay, let's get rid of both those things. I kind of messed that up. Oops. I think you maybe need to... Uh, let's try there, shall we? Okay, again, put this one back so I don't accidentally okay. do that. Let's try and put the box... Is that in the right place, the box? Is it? I can't see if that's the right place. Anyway. Put this box back. Open up inventory. Let's see if it works this time. Ah, there you go, see? So I believe I just need to have it actually on the ore itself. If that makes any sense. Is it? Oh, and it is actually going in there. Cool. So let's put a bit of this coal here. Because I need to go fuel up the other one. Yeah, here we go. So this is good. Okay, so let's go across to the other one now. To put the fuel. Because if you remember, the other one also ran out of fuel. This one is the iron ore one. Now, all this running about is a bit annoying. But I, like I said, I'm hoping... Whoops, am I lost already? Here it is. I'm hoping I'll be able to work out how to do some of the automi automized stuff in this game. Okay, so it ran out of fuel quite quickly, didn't it? Is it not actually giving me any? Oh, it's in. That's why. See, I'm I'm still quite noobish at this game because I've only just started playing it, so. Yes, quite noobish at this game, to say the least. Okay, so let's go across here, look in here, so we can keep burning our stuff here. We've got a lot of plates, which is awesome. I'm sure we're going to need a lot of plates. Right, so what I sh so I've got this miner working pretty well. Cool got one furnace enough for now I think and I've got one more over here doing the coal so let's go pick up the, the coal hopefully there'll be a bit more coal that's been mined or you know been taken out by the miner let's right click here okay let's half that and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give half to this machine whoops okay that didn't work I'm gonna give half to this machine so that should last, that should be enough fuel to last it quite a while, hopefully. Um, yeah. Again, so let's now go back over, give the other half to the other machine. So those two machines should last quite a while off that. I can see we've got copper quite nearby. So this is actually quite a good place to start up, actually. Um, yeah, so let's give the rest of this coal to this one so those two mining drill things they should last quite a while shouldn't they now I'm, I just need to set up one more so what I need to do now is let's see I've got a lot of stuff here awesome 
So now, all I need to do now, I think, is go into this and I want to craft. Now, I, th I, I wonder if I just press on the... Oh, yeah. Can I just click directly on this and it will make everything? I think it will. Look. Yeah, that's really cool. Even though some of the the items I didn't have crafted, it works out that I have enough resource for me to craft all those different things and it will still it will like automatically craft everything. So even though I didn't have the three iron gear wheels or or the stone furnish or whatever, it will I think it will automatically craft stuff as long as you have the required resources, which is really cool. Okay, so we're we're basically oaring it up, aren't we? So let's go to the copper then. Stone. Do I need, do I need to put one on stone? I'm not sure. I've got quite a big stone patch. I mean, this is a really good starting area, to be fair. I mean, it's all pretty close by, isn't it? Okay, so let's get our other mining rig thing with Jiggy. I think you actually have to place it over, do you? Because before it wouldn't work. I think you actually have to place it over like that. I could be wrong, but that's the impression I get. Okay, anyway. Okay, so... Let's pick up this. Put that here. And then have I got any coal in my inventory? I don't think I do. So I now need to go and get coal from this guy again he should have mined quite a bit by now and then we're good I mean the graphics in this game obviously are not amazing but to be fair I think it's it's pretty good I mean the idea of the game is pretty good and I can for, forgive these kind of graphics I think they're actually quite passable to be fair right let's put the coal in here so we've got three machines I think I might as well, while I'm at it, put one on the stone, eh? I might as well, because I have got one left. So let's go put one on, on the stone. I think there's a bigger patch of stone. That's iron ore up here, look. So let's go put it on the big patch of stone. Okay. Oh, I need to craft a chest, though. Let's put that. Oh, no, actually, I don't want it there. Sorry. Because I don't want the output bit like that I want it to be oh and I of course I can rotate it I keep forgetting okay so let's put that there let's see if I have enough wood to craft myself another treasure treasure chest <laughs> I mean a chest not a treasure chest actually um, well, yeah there you go left click on that help me to craft that get out of this menu uh, click on this, drag it to where it needs to go. Why won't it let me place there? What? That's weird. Why won't it let me build it there? That's annoying. Okay, well at least I hadn't started it up yet. Okay, let's get rid of this and move it back a square then. For some reason it wouldn't let me place it like that. I don't know why. Okay, let's try like that. Oh, oh, is there something there? Okay, maybe there was something there. Okay, let's try over here. Like so. Pick this up. Put on the end. There you go. Perfect. Now, did I have any coal? Nope. So this is the stone one, isn't it? So let's go pick up more coal from the coal man down here. So yeah, I mean, basically by the end of this video, I'll have the basic ores kind of being mined I then need to use furnaces to well like to make it into the the stuff that I need if you know what I mean the actual useful stuff I need okay and then I can start trying to build up more stuff like yeah okay so let's go let me check oh so he only has three coal left so I'm gonna give him a lot of coal because I think he's quite important and because he's obviously like right now coal is my biggest or my only form of fuel really so okay this guy's still working away let's go right up the top here to give this guy his coal i'm gonna give him all that well you know what only uh no i'm gonna, I'm gonna give him half 
I'm going to run down here because I imagine this one must be out of fuel, is it? No, it's still working actually. The iron ore one. Cool. So then. Uh, oh, whoops. I don't really. Oh, you know what? I've got quite a lot of iron ore in there, haven't I? Awesome. Um, okay. Right click. Yeah, he's nearly out of coal, look, see? So now I'm going to have to be doing the coal runs around to. <laughs> to do that but obviously I'm um, surely there's a way for me to automate the fuel as well like to make it so the fuel automatically goes to each of these so I can't think I think I've got I think I've got the major resources now covered right I've got the copper the iron the coal and the stone so I think that's all the major resources so I'm gonna leave the video here, I'm going to see, now, if I press escape, let's save the game. Yeah, so I'm going to save the game right now, guys. And I have, like I said, all the basic stuff kind of set up. And if you guys have any idea what I should be doing next, I would love to hear your advice in the comment section because I don't really know that much about this game. I obviously have a basic idea how to set up the basic stuff. But yeah, the finer details, I really don't know. So uh, I would love to hear any advice that you guys have and I tell you what I'm enjoying this game it's really interesting really cool and I think the base version of the game is something like 10 or 12 US dollars something like that I can't remember but it's not that expensive so yeah it's a really really good game so far so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye